Fortune Deluxe Edition for the SNES. Let's see how we do this game. <laughs> need a pen or, yeah, I need a pen to write with. Yep, I have to play against the computer. Here we go. Today we're taking on Victoria. Okay. One. And we are also taking on, <clears throat> sorry about the weakness of my voice there. Robert, okay. Top draw value for round one is $1,000, and we're playing for cash, and we're going to go ahead and get set up for our first puzzle. The category is a place, and I get to start, so here we go. $800, not bad, okay. In... Oh, there's no end. Victoria, your turn. Five hundred. Is there an L? Oh, there is an L, yeah. That's $500. Let's spin again, alright. $250. P. Uh, there is a P, yeah. Surprisingly enough. You have $750. What do you want to do? Let's spin? Alright. Okay. You gotta spin again. 400 Need a letter. Would there be an S? Nope, sorry. Robert, your turn. Four hundred. An R. Nope. Three hundred. Uh, let's go for a T. We have a T up there. We do. Okay, there is one T. That gets to be on the board. Um, a blah vowel. E. Oh, oh E. Victoria, you have seven hundred fifty dollars. What do you want to do? Spin. All right. Oh, the old lose a turn. That's unfortunate. Alright, Robert, let's let you try again. Mm. 
Sorry, I had to turn my fan back on. My uh, ceiling fan. Alright, you're spinning. 200. The letter. An M? Yeah, there's one M. Spin it again, Robert. You only have $200. What in Tiger? Eight hundred, not bad. Sticky. Sticky. Careful. Careful with those papers, okay? Is there an H? I would expect so. Here, can I close this real fast? Thank you. You have a thousand dollars, are you gonna spin again? Okay. Yep, Tiger, we're playing Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition on the Super Nintendo. Fun game. 500. Is there an, a W? There is not. My turn. I just $50. Okay. Oh, oh, that's fine. Two fifty. A Y. Yeah, there's two Ys. Mm -hmm. Five hundred fifty dollars. Uh, don't want to go again or not? Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll go for it. Let's see if we can get that free spin, so that way it'll help me out down the road. Well, no free spin yet, but four hundred. Uh, a B. Yeah, there's one B, $950. Uh, only vowels remain. I guess it's time to solve it. Plymouth Bay. Yep, that one, $950 that round. Great start. <clears throat> Let's go to round two now with a $2,500 based on the wheel. And we'll load up another puzzle in which the category is going to be phrase. And Victoria, you start round two. Eight hundred, good start. Would there be an R? Nope, there's not. Robert. Four hundred. H. Two H's. L. Mm -hmm. A. Uh huh. Four fifty. M. No, nope. <clears throat> my turn.
Five hundred, okay. Uh, T. Yeah, one T. Oh, I got it. But I'm going to spin. Ooh, 300, almost. In? In, yeah. Up to $800. Let's go again. One twenty five hundred. Oh, just almost had it there. Two hundred. Um, a D. There's D. Yeah. One thousand dollars. I'm gonna keep going. Well, let's see if we can get a free spin out of this. Oh, look who's here! It's Alex Paras. Young fella, how's it going? It's going well. I just came back from Mariposa. Did you have a good time? I sure did. Good, good. Thurman Team Jackson chose the remodeling. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. Oh, man. So you couldn't do that prank, I guess. Oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Uh, Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition for the Super Nintendo as part of my Thanksgiving special. That's right, everybody. Now, speaking of Wheel of Fortune, on a side note, for those of you who uh, follow Alex's channel, if you have not seen his pilot episode of Super Wheel of Fortune, please go check it out. It's amazing, and I've done 30 likes. That's great for a small channel. Yeah. If you have a major channel, then that's not good. But right now, in the start. 713 views, and it's been critical acclaim for all of my fans. So I want to thank every single one of you for giving that a like and favoring it. Absolutely. And expect that to be a series February 4th, 2018. I'd say we give Alex a round of applause for that. But yeah, like I said, if you have not watched it yet, and like Alex said, if you haven't seen it yet, please. Go check it out. You don't know what you're missing. There'll be a link in the description below. Yep. You can afford it in your inbox or in Tuesday. Absolutely. Fun fact I've been actually doing Super Real Fortune when I did home movies back in 2009 to 2011. Mm hmm. 2012. So. Of course, in 2010, VHS tapes were pretty much dead. Yes, they were. But I was like 13, 14, and yeah. I still had the nostalgic feel for VHS, which I still do. You and me and both. Have, yeah, except I don't do home movies like this anymore. I got YouTube. Right, right. And from time to time, I would watch these home movies. So I decided to do some my own home movies. It's just me and my camera, no special editing, just crappy editing. <laughs> yeah. All you need is one single shot. Well, I'll tell you this, Alex. At, at 13, 14, I had no clue how to do any editing whatsoever. Wow, really? Really. I wouldn't learn how to edit anything until I was in, like, my 20s. I used micro Movie maker. Yeah, same here. Now I use something called Video Master, Video Editor Master, thanks to Ben S seven twelve eighty seven. Video Editor Master. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a Microsoft program. Mhm. Mm yep. I use Final Cut Pro X. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's only for Macintosh computers, so. Oh, okay. You folks, if you want professional editing, get. Premier Pro. Right. And on a side note, another side note, Alex, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. I heard about that. I am happy. I bet you are. Yes, sir. 
See, one of the advantages for me is being as an assistant manager at the job I work at. If you're an assistant manager or a higher position, then instead of being allowed a one week's paid vacation, you're allowed so many hours of paid time off. Really? Yeah. Since I've barely used any of my paid time off hours, I only used it when I went to Boston and I would use some of it on my birthday. So I figured, you know what? I've got so many left. I'm going to use it the week of Thanksgiving. We've been working there for what, 10 years? Uh, 12, coming up on January. Oh, it's going to be 13. Uh-huh, pretty close. And... January what? The 19th. Okay. That's right. I mean, even with my, uh, even with my bachelor's degree, I still continue to work at the place I work at because, well, I love it. I enjoy it. Yeah, and you make a living wage, too. Yep, I make pretty good money. <clears throat> Oh, I start off round four with a five thousand dollars space out there on the wheel. Let's see if we can land on it. Uh, there is a speed up round. It's round five. Okay. Mhm. Mm now, Alex, if my memory serves correctly, do you have a Nintendo Switch? What was that? You got cut off. Oh, sorry. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? I do, but I never used it. Oh, because I was going to ask you if you've gotten uh, the new Wheel and Jeopardy bundle pack for it yet. I have it for the PS4. Oh, PS4, okay. Same here. And it's just the same old stuff. Exactly. But I went ahead and got it for the Switch anyway because, well, it's for a Nintendo console, so I'm, so I'm happy. <clears throat> they should do some more tweaks to it, like get rid of the unnecessary background music. Yeah, I agree. You don't need that fanfare if you get a clip, clip, letter for Yeah. Uh, I'd like it for them to change the current bonus round minimum. Yeah, it's still 34000 now it's 35000 Yep, and they should also let you pick your own bonus round category. <clears throat> oh, I think it's 36000 Excuse me. Oh, it's all good. <clears throat> all good. Last year was 35. Yep. I can even remember last year, around this time, whenever Wheel was doing some shows at Epcot Center at Walt Disney World in Florida. I remember that. They were big old golf ball guys. Uh-huh. You know what I thought that was? I thought that was golf land. That big old golf ball. Uh-huh. All it needs is a driver. Right on. I can even remember their first night at Epcot that the speed up round of that uh, episode was messy. Oh, other teams other teams kept trying to call letters and at one point another team tried to call a second letter and Pat and Pat says, No, you get one letter per turn. Did you, try, did you say they're trying to call multiple letters in the speed up? Yeah. And then at one point, Pat finally said, Everybody, hang on until you're called on. Well, they must have not have watched me of Fortune. They must not have, and I've watched it since I was just a year and a half old. I started watching it in 2001. 2000. Oh, yeah. That was when they started doing the uh, toss ups. That's right. I can even remember Christmas 2000 getting Wheel of Fortune 2nd Edition for PC. I I loved it and I still do. Who doesn't love that? Exactly. The very first Wheel of Fortune game I ever played was for my parents' computer back in the the early nineties. Well, it was for the DOS, so it was an eighties version. First Wheel of Fortune game I ever played was the NES. Oh! The NES version I didn't play until I got an NES back in 2005. Mm. Yep, and it was the original wheel for the NES back from 1987. Mm -hmm. Now, the one featuring Vanna White, I would get a year later in 2006. I think Family Edition, I'm pretty sure I got in 2000. Seven and then junior edition I got in two thousand eight. Pretty much 
the same thing except difficulty. Exactly. The one featuring Vanna Wyatt would have to be my favorite NES uh, version of Wheel. Because it has the uh, actual voice recorder. That's one reason. Uh huh. Oh, Victoria lands on 5,000. I think also for the Jeopardy ones, too. I know it's on 14 of the Super Nintendo ones. Yeah, there were four uh, different uh, Jeopardy NES games that released. Yeah, I know. Super Jeopardy. The 25th anniversary. Yeah. The 25th anniversary one is the hardest one for me. Really? Yeah, the material is tough in that game. Super Jeopardy would have to be a close second, but Super Jeopardy is actually not too bad. I really want to be my Jeopardy player. Right. I mean, I don't take you. Sure, me too. I just wouldn't want to do it with Jack. I'm good at certain uh, trivia things, but uh, would I would I be a good contestant on the actual show? Uh, that's debatable. I will. I don't mind for multiple choice. But I yeah, exactly. Yeah, I prefer multiple choice myself. It's a little smoky down here. It's a little smoky over there. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. No problem, no problem. Yeah, if you guys don't know, there's a fire that sparked a week ago in Paradise, California. Right? The whole town's gone. I know, it's a shame. Oh, I know the solution to this puzzle. <laughs> and this is a role that Sally Field played on television The Flying Nun. Back in the 70s, I think. Somewhere around there. Well, Victoria won this game, but you know what? At least I woke away with a little something, so that's good. I won $2,750, which isn't bad. Unfortunately, I didn't. Victoria won with $9,400. Fortunately, though, this is just part of a Thanksgiving special. All good, all good. Who's here? Oh, Marty's here. Hey, young fella. Or should I say, yay? <laughs> oh, Victoria got the puzzle wrong. It was Little Italy. She put Lottel Italy. Oh, and she lost that on $25,000. Ha ha! Sprite diarrhea, Sprite diarrhea. And we're going to take ourselves a little commercial break, wrap it up for this segment, but there's still lots more fun and games for this Thanksgiving Day special. We'll be right back, and we hope you will too.